Thanksgiving time. It told you about all you need to know about a dump. They are a problem. Uh, in China, I mean, it's they, they, in Beijing alone, they collect like 18,000 tons a day. To me, the government ought to get involved. I don't know how much pressure that we have to put on these landfills that the government uses this garbage to our benefit instead of just keep contaminated to more area that I mean, some of these dumps are giving up several hundred acres. When are we going to stop doing it and do something with it? <coughs> I mean, what's, if we don't put pressure on it, it's just like in the oil business. Until the last drop of oil is used, we're not going to do nothing. We're just going to keep going right down the road because it's going <coughs> to make millions. It's a $52 billion industry. That's a lot of money. Why would they quit? And until you put pressure on it and close them down, the government's not going to do anything about it. They're just going to go right on making money. These people from out of town, they the hell they don't know us. Whenever that landfill gets filled, just like he said, the county's going to have to be taken care of. It. They don't. They'll just walk away from it. So I don't know what the answer is. You know, we need landfills. But until we put enough pressure on people, they're not going to do any better. Hell, I wouldn't do better either if I could make millions. They're, they've got deep pockets. They're going to get deeper. So if nobody wants to step up to the plate and change the thing, it's going to go right on the way it is. You know, it's going to come in front of the commissioners. They're going to have, those three people are going to have to make a hard decision. When we have families that are living right next to that thing. And I hope some of them come and visit me sometime. I'm going to give them a drink of water. I don't want to take your time. That's all i got to say. Three quick responses. Uh, first off, we cannot walk away. Uh, there is a mandated financial assurance requirement now for landfills that went into effect. Remember when I told you that the federal government stepped in and closed all the, the small municipal facilities? Well, at that point in time, the regulations also required that we put aside money for both closing landfill and post-closure maintenance facility. So the days when an operator can come in and make the money as he indicated and walk away are over. There are millions of dollars set aside right now in financial assurance for the Decatur Hill facility. Secondly, landfills are, are not going to be around forever. Um, there are constantly new technologies that are being developed, and believe it or not, a lot of them are being developed and tested by the solid waste industry itself. Uh, there's mining going on in some of these landfills. Some of the technology takes waste and converts it to various forms of energy. So I see the day where landfills won't be a necessity. There will be different technologies available. Finally, uh, the solid waste industry, and I mentioned this briefly last month, is the primary supporter of recycling in this country. I mean, the solid waste owner operators are the largest recycling people in the country. And most of the recycling that's being done is funded by monies that come from landfills. Even the money that is funding the solid waste district here in Decatur County comes from landfill revenue. Anyone else care to stand up? Bill Happy, I live at uh, 2103. U.S. 421 South. Um, I was here last month. I think I was the first one to get up and speak about this whole thing. Uh, I guess one of the things when I left here uh, last month that really disturbed me the most was I was I was really disappointed in no more reaction than we had out of the board. You know, uh, we had one person uh, mention about the loss of agricultural uh, and then I'm not sure 
which one of you guys says something about the screen wall, talking about the trees and what not you know to put up, just to, just to block it. It just seemed like that, I don't know if you uh, folks didn't have enough time to really get into it or realize what a serious issue this is, but it's serious, you know, it's a very serious issue. If you live right across the road, they're going to be hauling all this trash from Fort Wayne, wherever else, all these other counties it's already been talked about, into your front yard, I think you, you, you probably have more questions, you know, besides those two things. I, I just, I was so disturbed by that from the last time I left, I just, I just thought about it over and over and over, and I was like, you know, sure, to goodness, you people can, can, can do some homework on this thing and get more involved with it, you know, for the sake of the people in the county. We're the taxpayers. We're here. We're going to be here for a long time. Um, everything else that uh, uh, the neighbors have talked about and the other things and stuff, I, you know, I support, support all that. Uh, they've already said a lot of things that, that I had on my mind. Um, and the liner is something that's been talked about a lot tonight. They brought the sample of the liner down to me and looked at it. And to look at the liner, you know, it's, it's really thick. But, you know, when you got 100 tons of equipment and, <coughs> you know, 25 ton, whatever, you know, the heavy equipment compacting this, you know, 8, 10 hours a day, that kind of thing. And these liners, the liner's not wide enough to cover the entire dump the entire hole, they're going to basically dig this hole and whatever they do with their clay and compacting their water <coughs> and put it in the, the manufactured line. That has to have a seam in it somewhere. You know, I don't know how long or how wide these sections are, but you got a lot of seams. There's seams somewhere. It's not big enough to cover everything. So, you know, how are these seams put together? What's holding them together? How long will they stay together? Are they glued together? They bolted together. You know, there's, there's so many other questions, so many other things we need to know the answers to. Uh, it don't seem like we're really getting there again tonight. Um, and then the other thing that I heard tonight, just uh, real quick, was the uh, best way of taking their own sample. Maybe that's maybe that's how it's you know stayed regulated. I, I don't have the answers to that either, but it kind of seems like the no, the fox watching the hen house to me. You know, am I going to turn in a bad sample that I'm, I'm managing and I'm working and I'm running this place? No. I want it all to look good on me. Maybe be a bigger bonus for me. So, I, I just think there's too many things that need to be considered. I think there's a lot more questions that, that you good people can, can ask. Uh, and I know most of you. There's a few of you don't know, uh, you know, know that well, but uh, I know you, you, you people can come up with more what we've done again tonight. Uh, so that's all I have. Thank you. <coughs> Real quick, he asked about the seams, uh, the R seams, and those are fused together. And I then inspect those seams to make sure that they're done appropriately. Someone said earlier that we had 300 trucks coming in out of day uh, last month. Pitch five trucks. And, um, on any month, we don't even come close to 300. There are usually less than 100 trucks a day. And on the samples, uh, you know, I kind of resent the insinuation there because there are a lot of checks and balances on these samples, and it's not to our advantage to lie about a sample. You've got to remember that uh, this is a family-owned business. There are liability issues, mismanagement issues, so it's not to our advantage to do something wrong. Anybody else care to speak this evening? What's your name? I'm uh, Rick Kramer. I just have one uh, one note on if, if this rezoning is just for a support facility, why is it not just five acres instead of the whole 151 acres? Um, that would make more sense, and then that would also give us a little bit of protection in the future um, about this whole thing turning into uh, new landfill or whatever. If it's truly, this is, 
as he claims, is just for support the facility. They do not need more.